Good morning, Rare Drops. Skulls Nightshade here, and today we are going to take a look at our newest scratch tickets. So this week, looks like we have the Cosmic Strike Force. Alright, so per usual, we're going to start by taking a look at the bonuses. And it looks like at 35 pulls, we have the Gunslinger EX Emote, the Gunslinger Dash, which has the red photons as well as the gun. We also have the Gunslinger EX Idol. It has a really cool photon effect on the tip of the gun. Um, the photon effect around my body is not a part of the idol, just letting you guys know. All right, now let's take a look at the prize list. Also, side note, I absolutely love the cover art for the scratch ticket. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and look. So we're starting with type one, the Fantel Nebula. Outerwear. There we go. So here is the regular variant of that. We have the two variant, the B variant, and the B2 variant. I really like the default color of B2. All right. Now we have the base wear. Oh, one thing I totally forgot to check. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and put this back on and let's look at the ornament display. All right, so that gets rid of those pocket pieces, which I didn't realize were a part of the outerwear. And oh, this is a uh, sorry about that. That's base wear. All right, so for the outerwear, we have that arm piece that comes off. Ah, it's early, guys. <laughs> Please excuse me. All right. But while we're here, we can check out the base wear. So we have the Fantel Nebula base wear. And it looks like this takes off those pocket pieces. And this takes off the remainder of the pieces on the legs. Well, other than like the shoes, the boot part, but. All right, so here is our two variant. Looks very reminiscent of a base where we already have. Actually, maybe like two. All right, here's the B variant. And the B2. All right. And now for type two, we have the Reconiza Nebula. There we go. And for this space where it looks like we can take off. Is that the layer of uh, that glossy film on the inside of the shirt and then the skirt part. All right, we have the two variant, the B variant, and the B2 variant. All right, now we have the Hartis Unifa, which again looks reminiscent of base where we already have, especially those leg pieces. Kind of looks like the, uh, I forgot what that uh, outfit is, but I always use it, it's very, very sporty. All right, so for this one, base where it looks like we can take off those sleeve pieces and 
the back cape, but not the leg pieces. That's odd. Okay. I mean, honestly, the leg pieces are kind of what I dislike the most about it. But also those like hip pieces too. So I feel that. I actually really enjoy the sleeves. I think if anything could just stay, it would be cool if it was the sleeves. But anyway, this is not about my opinion. All right, here is the two variants. The B variant. And the B2 variant. All right, and now we have the weapon display pose five, which is where they got that other pose from. Probably a variant of one of these, which I don't think I can switch that right now. All right, we have weapon to play this uh, weapon display pose six. It's a really, really cool pose for a bow. All right, and now we have the idol standing pose, which is a very, very cute idol. Like, I, I really want this. <laughs> I just spent so much money on motions recently. And we have a new weapon. I don't know. We'll see how good the new weapon is first. All right, and now we have the gunslinger idol. So we saw the EX version. EX version still a bit cooler because it has the red effect. All right, we have the gunslinger motion, the gunslinger move. The regular gunslinger dash. The gunslinger glide. Which that would have been cool to have an EX of the glide. As much as I like the idol, I think it should have been like the dash and the glide. All right, the tarot design frame, portable hologram, elegant artwork, portable hologram. We have elegant tapestry, portable hologram, fountain, portable hologram. All right, and now back to fashion, we have Hardest Hair. That's a very cute hairstyle. Hardest Hair. And I assume, there we go, we can hide head ornaments. Okay, we have the Fantel Nebula Hair, which is yet another very simplistic type one hair. I don't know, I feel like a lot of uh, type 1 hairstyles kind of look the same, but those do look really good on type 2 as well. All right, we have the Cruz hair, the B variant. Kind of a mullet look going on here. It's actually very cute. I'm not a mullet type of person. We have the distorted eye. So it's a little wobbly. Illustratica Eyes, the J variant. Wow, I can't believe we've had so many of these so far. J variant. We have the Techie Eyebrows, the B variant. Angled Triangle Eyebrows. The Flipped Up Eyelashes. Ooh. That's how I wear my eye makeup. <laughs> Gaudy spiked eyelashes. I like these a lot. We have the long bottom eyelashes makeup. So makeup to make like twiggies. It's kind of weird that it's not exactly on the waterline. I don't know if I can get with that, but cool idea. So that's the B variant. And this is going to be the regular variant that takes your inner wear color. All right, we have exaggerated makeup. I feel like if you put this underneath or on top of other makeup, lightly layered, it would look really, really good. 
I like the lip liner. So that's the B variant. This is going to be the regular variant, which takes the inner wear color very strongly. <laughs> All right, we have the stubble. Stu is it stubble? Stubble, yeah. Stubble makeup. I don't know why I struggled so much over that word. Kind of weird that it goes onto the lips, but I guess that makes sense. It kind of looks like dirt more than hair, to be quite honest. We have the Reconiza Nebula Gloves. Okay, hold on. We got to... All right, so we're not going to be able to see these very well. Again, I don't know why it does this for me for the innerwear. I'm not even wearing this type of innerwear. I have checked this. But um, if you look above my head, we have a shiny fingerless glove. It looks like it has the cutoff fingers instead of... Uh, which you can see here. Instead of like the holes for each individual fingers. It like cuts off more like a arm warmer i guess with a thumb hole all right we have the fantel nebula gloves which we have some very similar gloves to this with that blue on the inside um this is a bit of a darker color and again if you look above my head you can see that it's a shorter glove um, and it looks like it has like black on top all right and we have the b variant of these gloves of course the palm takes the innerwear color we have the hardest gloves, which is, it looks like the middle finger has a hole for it there. There's a little symbol on the hand and it's again, a shorter glove, but it goes up until like the mid part of the, uh, the forearm. All right. So that's the B variant and this is going to be the regular version, which I think is taking to my inner wear color too. All right, we have the chest lace cover for type one. And that's the B variant. This is gonna be your regular variant. We have the type two B variant. See, there we go. My inner wear is showing up properly now. And then this is the regular variant. We have the mesh bodysuit. Okay, not gonna lie, I've been waiting for an accessory kind of like this. I also love that it has the lace on the neck and kind of its own choker on it. And just because I have like full body mesh suits and I don't always want that. All right, so that's the B variant and this is going to be your regular version. One hand glove, there we go. Okay, we're actually seeing our inner wear properly. We have the one hand glove, which is just a glove on one hand. And that's the B variant. This is going to be the regular version. All right. Now we have the right glove, B variant, and regular version. Don't really look different right now because of my colors. We have the Fantel Nebula mask. Shining star earring. Looks like just one earring with two costs, which isn't crazy, but kind of weird just to get one. Scary rabbit mask. Oh my goodness. Makes me think of Umbrella Academy. We just make it more colorful. We have the dark edge tiara. Oh my gosh, I love that. Lace wrist covers. As an accessory too, so you don't have to use a body paint. Aurora cape. That's so pretty. I feel like that could be used for so many different effects. We have the fang print mask. Out here looking like Tama. Double lip rings left and double lip rings right. All right, we have the BP-G361 heavy chest piece. And the B variant of that, that jiggle effect though. 
relaxed side extensions. I love the hair extension pieces. They keep giving us similar ones, but they're like different enough that it's very, very helpful. All right, we have N Fox ears. There we go. So all our kids and I don't have to use cat ears anymore. We have the hardest sticker to see. I don't think that shows up on my outfit and it's black too, but you can see it above my head. And that is everything on the list. All right. That was a, uh, it felt really long. I don't know why. All right. Funny enough, none of the base, none of the um, new base wear is featured. But what is featured is the Weapon Display Pose 5. Which is really badass, so... I don't, I don't blame them. This is going to be very nice for screenshots. Alright, so market price right now, it is currently 4.25am, super early. Servers have only been up 25 minutes, so these prices are not going to be very accurate. But let's go ahead and take a look. It's always fun to look at those. All right, so we have the Weapon Post 5, which is currently one on the market on ship three for 15 mil. That's definitely going to go down. Honestly, I could see this being stuck around the 10 or 11 mil mark, but maybe it'll go lower. So uh, it's more affordable, but I think it's going to probably be above 10 mil because it is a really, really nice pose. Um, also, it uses, you know, guns. Everyone likes guns. All right, we have Weapon Pose 6, which shows off Bow. All right, and right now there's one on the market for almost 20 mil. Uh, yeah, that's very expensive. But again, it's early, so <laughs> the price is... It, it, it's only one person on the market putting the prices up. Um, but this is probably going to be a little lower. I could see this being in the 6 through 10 mil mark rather than over 10 mil. Just because bow is not a super popular weapon, I could see it dropping down lower just because of that. But the pose is really cool. So that's like the only reason I, I still price it really high is because it's a nice pose, but bow's not super uh, popular. So might not be a big seller. Great idol, maybe not a big seller. All right, the standing pose. Currently one on the market for 18 mil. And I think that is also going to go down. Um, I think it's still going to be kind of high because it's a cute pose, in my opinion. But again, that's opinion based rather than like the actual facts about the post. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, maybe this one anywhere between five to ten mil. Kind of broad. That's a five mil gap. But I think it makes sense. All right. Now we have the hardest hair, which is very nice hair, very cute. Very demure. I'm just kidding. I, I wanted to find a reason to say that. All right. So currently we don't have any on the market. Um, it's a hairstyle. It's also featured. I think this is going to be upwards of 10 mil, probably anywhere between 9 to 15 mil, unless people get crazy. But uh, yeah, that's probably going to be it. Hopefully that drops a little lower because I want that hair and I don't want to pay that price for it. I'm actually probably not going to. But, <laughs> but that's realistically where I can see that going. All right. Where else do we have featured items? Oh, that's it. All right. We relied on the featured items today. Okay. All right, so that is it for our newest scratch ticket, Cosmic Strike Force. What did you guys think about the scratch ticket? Please let me know in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Is there any item on there in particular that you're looking forward to? Any item you wish the scratch had? Uh, cast parts is <laughs> probably one of those things. I think this style would have some really good cast parts. Um, a lot of the, uh, uh, I don't know, I guess the base wear... I could see why it really wasn't featured. It looks very similar to base where we already have. Not saying it's not cute. That that leotard's very cute. Um, actually, all of them are very cute, but they do look very similar. Uh, something that like I feel like if you already have something similar, you might just be like, uh, it's not really worth buying unless it's cheap. But 
the motions on it are really good. The emotes are really good. And I think some of my favorite thing are, are the accessories. You know, they always get me on scratches like this that I don't really have an interest in with the accessories. So yeah, <laughs> they have some unrelated accessories like the dark crown and things like that that I really want. Um, yeah, well, thank you all so much for watching. As always, look cute and stay cool. Bye.